Good morning, my friend. I have good news this week. I passed my recruiter screening that was scheduled for Monday. It's Wednesday now. So now I go on to the next steps of the interviewing process at this company. The next round is a technical interview with both coding, uh, SQL strictly, and case studies. Most likely experimentation, but I'm not sure. The technical interview is going to be within the next two weeks. So now I'm just in full sprinting mode studying. I'm studying not only case studies, but the recruiter told me also to touch on probability statistics. So that's what I'll do today. Just full on sprinting mode. I don't feel ready at this moment and I'm extremely stressed out. So stressed out that I woke up with a cold sore yesterday. It's getting a lot better today. Yeah, exciting yet stressful at the same time. Let's get the study session started. Action is equal to confirmed. I just did an hour of SQL. I'm, I'm redoing the lead code SQL 50 the second time. I've done it once. Not long after I started practicing SQL. But now I'm going back to it because I feel like it's been a while. When I do these lead code SQL questions, I keep having to look at my notes. I don't know if I'm allowed notes during the technical. But all the things that I need to look up are syntax because my entire SQL life, I've been using PostgreSQL, but my technical is going to be on MySQL. There are some differences, especially when it comes to casting a number to a decimal. I hope I don't get docked during the interview for not knowing the syntax well enough. just finished the second hour of studying. I did another hour of SQL. I did two questions in the last hour and one of them I had to look at my notes again. For one of them I didn't, which was great. Exciting, exciting stuff. I made a Excel spreadsheet to check how many of the questions I needed to look at solutions versus how many of them I needed to look at notes. Um, I did another one where I didn't need to look at anything. So that was exciting. What, what question was this? This was immediate food delivery. So with our database of five, I only had one question where I didn't need to refer to anything to write my SQL query. Don't know if that's good enough. Just finished my third hour of studying. I mostly just looked at mock case study questions on YouTube. I've practiced a lot of case study questions myself, but I think it's different when you're practicing and when you are in an interview in a sense that when you're in a case study, a lot of the information is given to you. And when you are interviewing, you kind of need to ask clarifying questions to get some of those information out. I watched two mock interviews on YouTube honestly the, the interviews like stresses me out i think it stresses me out for two reasons one is that what the mock interviewee is saying is not similar to what i'm thinking and a second it's just the environment of the interview itself is intense like knowing that every word you speak and every thought that you have is going to be evaluated is nerve-wracking. I think I'm gonna call it quits for now. I have my mid-year review for work in like seven minutes. I'll probably have to come back to case studies later 
to one make myself less nervous and more confident i'm not even in the interview i'm just watching the interviews and i'm nervous two is to get a better sense of a framework to answer a question like okay ask clarifying question first and then state your assumptions second and you know things like that i kind of have a vague idea but it's not concrete so i definitely need more practice wow okay what do you know i have a another <laughs> Swiss chicken roller tray. My media review went pretty well. It was good feedback and I got a sense of what I'm working on at work for the rest of the year. I all of a sudden have a lot more free time because my partner is on a business trip. So just me at home and at night, I don't need to worry about spending time with another person. I can just, you know, zone in on studying. Last night I did statistics and probability for an hour and a half a night. I finished at like almost 11 p.m. but the feeling of studying at night kind of brought me back to college days. You know it's like peaceful, it's dark outside, there's no sound, no movement in the house besides my cats. Even though I'm studying, I really enjoyed the feeling of studying at night alone it made me feel young again it made me feel like i was in college even though clearly i'm not in college anymore and also this whole like sprinting for my technical interview feels like death week before finals in college you're just trying to cram as much knowledge into your brain as possible before a test that either you know you pass or you don't the very clear results it really does feel like i'm in college Wow. Because it's cold and I'm also drinking sparkling water. I'm cold. I feel cold. But it's 83 degrees outside. Oh, that's not enough coffee. Time to work for the job that pays me. <sighs> I'm finally done working. Uh. The downside of having alone time or being alone or having nobody else at home, not your partner, not your parents, no roommates, is that you can do whatever the heck you want, which is a good thing, but also a bad thing because I can just keep going. Like I don't interact with people. It's very easy to overwork yourself. I think if you live alone and have like nobody that can kind of get you to rest I think it's fine because I'm kind of like sprinting for my technical interview but I just know for a fact if I just do this for an extended amount of time I will burn out so quick because I am really exhausted right now I didn't even go to the gym today I'll just have dinner Maybe go for a walk or run in the park. Do I have energy to go run in the park right now? I figured even if no one is home to make sure that I'm taking a break and being nice to my body, I should probably do that for myself. So, I feel good. I'm gonna go home and have a feast. When I'm by myself, I eat for survival instead of for enjoyment. We're back in the old spot of my desk. I'm going to try to cram maybe an hour and a half in 
of studying. I just showered, hence this little cotton pad on my on my on my face. This is uh acid to keep me slightly less pimply. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of statistics. I'm gonna go through my index cars here. This deck of cars keeps getting thicker and thicker. You know this is kind of creepy, right, July? Look at this, look at this paw situation. How are you even standing up? Cute little posy. I said I was going to do statistics, but I ended up looking at case studies again. I'm now really concerned with, like I've done a lot of case studies, but I did it in sort of an unstructured way. Like I didn't categorize all of the case studies into different categories, such as, you know, diagnosing a problem or design questions on A-B testing. So now I'm just trying to get a structure in place of understanding, okay, I've done all these questions, but which category does it fall into? And is there a common framework that I can use? And that's how I landed on Emma Ding's videos again. This girl, she be making good materials out there, okay? Her material is, is top notch. Like the free ones on YouTube, A1. I just finished watching a A-B testing design video and now I'm watching a metric mock interview. She has cheese she's in there, she has the actual mock interview with um, like how do you ask clarifying questions, what things to ask for first, how to kind of lead the conversation but without making it seem like you don't know what you're talking about. So good stuff. I think I'm going to continue on this path and do like another 40 minutes ish. Oh and it's also the end of the day. I didn't hear back from the exact time for my technical interview, which I was hoping to. And I also didn't hear back on how my full screen went last Wednesday. Since I haven't heard back for a while, I don't think it's good news. So we'll see. I'm just kind of in limbo because I'm so concentrated on this technical interview that I haven't applied to any new jobs. Um, there's a break in the pipeline. In my job application pipeline, that is. Um, anywho, back to more study. Why'd you stop? Don't stop. My battery died. I am not proud of myself for how much I pushed through today. I studied a lot and I got work done and I went running and I I did a lot. And surprisingly, I feel like it's way easier for me to concentrate at night than it is for me to concentrate in the morning. One of the reasons is because like in my community, there are leaf blowers and uh, landscapers that starts your work at 8 a.m. It just is so loud and people are walking around to work. People are walking their dogs. This one lady, I can always hear her under my window and she goes, go pee pee, go pee pee, go pee pee. Like I recognize her voice because she does that every single day. I don't know what she looks like, but I know her voice. And at night there's none of that. It's just peace and quiet in me and in my ding. Home day is over. Hopefully I hear back from the recruiter on my technical interview time. So I know when is the end of this tunnel. Well, I'm gonna go to bed now. I will see you back here again soon. Bye.